Welcome to the Monster Hunter Podcast Show. It's episode 56 and it's September 20th, 2011. And welcome to the Monster Hunter Podcast Show. I'm Christian from Game Design Scrapbook and SocialDissonance.com. Hey everyone, this is Shepard from SocialDissonance.com. Hello, this is Noxella, also from SocialDissonance.com. I'm also from SocialDissonance.com. My name is Nick, and my fart smells so bad, not even Rango Retour will talk to me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> can you can you give him the poop status? <laughs> We are going on this quest right now. That poop you took was shocking, Nick. Yes, it was shocking to me too. Who knew such wonderful things could live inside of me? Oh, oh God! <laughs> Wait, it was living? No, it like, no. Was it a tapeworm? No. How else are guys gonna give birth? You know, we should open up like a uh, weight no. loss clinic that just feeds people's tapeworms. Is... Oh, oh no. no! Come on, man. Well, you would do it. Come on, like if it was like you know permanent surgery or just eat a couple tapeworms, what would you do? Uh, no. Die. Mm, I would fail loading this quest. Uh oh. I think it's going to take a little while. I think uh, for viewers at home, we've been trying to. Oh connect my gosh, this like works. Past. Oh, two hours. Say, uh, two hour, two, two hours, hours, hours is like a conservative estimate. Yeah, we spent just two hours. Uh, just working with ad hoc party to start this so you know we take whatever quest we have and whatever happens what are we doing the, here what was the uh, monster we're really fighting uh, it's, it's a secret to everyone okay. oh. quadruple hopper aboka good what really no okay so um so we are super 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 late on these news because we are recording this podcast super in advance right now um due to the power shortage but yeah, there were funny how the, the butterfly effect works like that, isn't it? Yeah, we can go back in time and and change our girlfriends now. Uh, I, I don't think I don't want. We can do save that. her, man. Yeah, we can save her. We, we can we can make them maybe fall for other guys who are much more reasonable and much more. Oh well, certainly lovable. someone with a better hobby than playing Monster Hunter all day. <laughs> yeah, and or spending. Well, we're not really playing Mon- Monster Hunter. We're spending just our days at ad hoc party. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Why do, you keep, why do you keep going in and out of that room all day? Uh, it's ad hoc like, party. What? You wouldn't understand it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, does man. your does your girlfriend watch the podcast, Christian? No, she has no idea what's happening there. Nick, Nick does yours? No. Your fiance? She yeah, don't watch it? nothing. <laughs> is she actually Amish? Uh, she um, is just busy doing uh, training for roller derby. Uh, that sounds like a much better hobby than yours. The, 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 I saw, it, it I probably s- is. I saw some knee, some knee protectors today. Heck yeah! Mm. Bob, Bob and Joe have adopted them on their own. Yeah, they, they look awesome. The cats are really enjoying them. It looks like it, at least. Okay, so um, the news we are referring to that we are t- t- super late on are, of course, the um, Monster Hunter Portable 3G news. It is a game that will come out on the Nintendo 3DS if you haven't it, noticed it already. Uh, uh, small nerd correction. Uh, I guess it's called Monster Hunter Tri-G. Really? It is, yeah, is it? Yeah. It is Monster Hunter Tri-G, yeah. Okay, and I'm sorry. The, the reason for this is is Capcom is a genius, and they say, hey, what? What could be more profitable than one Monster Hunter game released a year? Two and the, the answer to that yeah. is, of course, yeah, two a year. Like, we're going to have... 
a 3DS line, and we're going to have a Vita line. And we're just going to release one a year, and it's like printing money in Japan. It's it's like basically like as if uh, EA has decided to make Madden and Modern. <laughs> Mad <laughs> and Dan. <laughs> exactly. Uh, you see, they already do that because you can take a player from NCAA and bring him all the way through Madden. I've discovered. Oh wow! Like a custom player, sort of. Yeah, you can take a player that you started in NCAA for that EA makes, import them into uh, Madden, and have them play through the NFL. So they really do it. Oh wait a minute! Are we going? Is this going to be a podcast where we where we kill the where we finally get the how how do we, the, the thing in the throat? Uh, the bomb in the throat? I can try. Because it, it looked like one of us uh, almost did it. But... I thought Noxella did it earlier. Nope. Oh, wait, we've gotten bomb. We've gotten the neat bombs for. Do you mean break their uvula? The uvula. Yeah. uvula. Exactly. That was the uh, We don't have to be looking. using bows. You'd have to use a bow with rapid shot. That's, that's the way to do that. Oh, okay. So we aren't properly equipped. Oh, I'm equipped. Okay. It's also e it's easier to do it if you're soloing it. Okay, yeah. yes, but but we are we are we are drifting off. So what's what's the deal with Monster Hunter Portable? No, no, whatever. Monster Hunter Tri G. Uh, so Plesioth, right? Oof. <laughs> we have we have a Plesioth, uh, which wasn't there in Tri. Oh. Oh. <gasps> well, hold on a second. I was using Adrenaline. Hold the So am phone. I, but I'm not uh, dead. Uh, well, you know what? One of us hasn't been drinking steadily since five o'clock in the afternoon. What right? an alcoholic! I'd, I'd, I'd <laughs> say you've not been using adrenaline; you've been overusing adrenaline. Yeah, <laughs> guys, it's alcohol use. Do not abuse it. It is nothing to be trifled with, especially when you're creating the number one outlaw Monster Hunter podcast on YouTube. Okay? Outlaw? Oh, outlaw? We are outlaws. Yes. Dangerous. Yes. You didn't know that? No. We, we don't follow anyone else's rules, but we're our own. Renegade. Renegade, okay. I saw that show. I like Lorenzo Lamas. I, I love when in the in the in the opening where he just takes this water jug and he just empties on his on his head. Oh, well, that's what that's Nexella. <laughs> so, uh, what was you that? get? What's what that, you Nexella? get? <laughs> oh, little... It's even it's even sadder because I got killed by a Renaplus. <laughs> oh wow, we are really uh, really great podcast right now here. We are great at podcasts. Kale Han has died. Social dissonance has died. Our hopes and dreams have died. I'm just doing it for the ratings. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Every time I die, you get an extra like two thousand. You're views. doing it for the lol. I'm, I'm doing it. For, I'm doing it for the money. I'm doing it for the yeah the lol cats and that cheese. Yeah, man, lol cats. That's that's how they pay me. Gotta get them Benjamin. <laughs> that actually is legitimately how we pay Christian. We just send him <laughs> links every day. Like, all right, Christian. Here's those little cats we promised you. <laughs> I'm really scared right now. I'm not going to have us fail this quest. I'm going to heal. Okay, guys. So, um, so there's a there's. It's basically like a adva um, upgraded version of Monster Hunter Try, but on the Nintendo 3DS. Which means we're going we're going to get uh, Monster Hunter in 3D. Woo! Yes. Uh, well, well, we already have Monster Hunter in 3D. Well, you have Monster Hunter in 3D. No, that doesn't but count. I guess. Well, I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't count, really. Who 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 owns a 3D TV? Well, Nothing. Shepard doesn't. But I might wait. get I might get one. Okay, for this game exclusively. I, I might get one in like 20 years when they're affordable and normal and without glasses and stuff like that. Yeah, I hate glasses free 3D. Actually, what? I hate 3D in general. Why? It hurts. It hurts me. Wait, why 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 did you hate glasses free 3D? Uh, I just hate I just hate every 3D. You just you just, you just stop hate hating, bro. Uh, Can't. You, you gotta get get in the loving business. No. I no. want 1D. One I just D. want to see a big wavy line in front of me. Oh man, that would be awesome. It's two dimensional. Oh, that's right. Just just a point. Just a point. That's it. And and yeah, what, what what happens with a point? Nothing. I just look at it. And that's then? 1D. No, wait, maybe that's a two 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 D because you have time. No. And also mm -hmm. maybe that point is doing something. Oh. Then do you have like My color? Mind freak. <laughs> so it's actually already like 5G or something. Uh, uh, so 5G, also 5G. Um, lock on. That's something that's happening. Yes. 
New thing, yeah. new thing. Uh, we d we don't have to control the cameras anymore. There's m possibly we're not really sure, but there's possibly a button where you just press and the camera will always focus on the monster. Something mm -hmm. we've seen in many games, and Monster Hunter has been quite resilient in implementing this kind of feature. We're talking about this on a on a podcast already. A little bit. I I still don't think that they should implement it, but I mean, there try is definitely their like more casual hmm. game, so I can see them totally doing it. Um, right. I, you know, I don't want to be a, such a contrarian, but I mean, I would say Monster Hunter Portable Third is even easier than Monster Hunter Try. It's true. It's true. Uh, I mean, and I think that's just going to be a trend we're going to see running through every single game from now on. Because I think what they're finding is, is that just with such a popular title, I mean, out of four million people that play a game, I mean, maybe a hundred thousand of them, two hundred thousand of them, are like really, really good. The other half just want to play. They just want to kill some monsters. Um, but but you know the G's versions always, always seems to be though, really difficult and really hard and stuff like that. So um, well, we only have one point of reference, right? Yeah, I we guess we only have we only have Freedom Unite or Monster Hunter Portable Second G to to show that up. I mean, I I hope I hope the G rank is harder. I really do. Um, but I, I mean, I, I I don't think we're ever going to see anything as difficult as some of the quests as Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. No, I'm not really sure. Because, you know, stuff like Demon Souls was super, super Ooh. successful, right? Ooh, you're right. Yeah, but yeah, it was correct. successful, but it wasn't, like, nobody expected it to be successful. It was a surprise. <laughs> yeah, even from software, was like, surprise! why are you playing this? <laughs> why are you doing this to yourself? Like, we I were really... dying! Did, did I send you guys the link to the interview with him where he's like, well, we wanted to model a game after the difficulties people face in real life. Uh, uh really? <laughs> yeah. And we wanted to we wanted you to understand that this game was as hard as real life is. I, like, I, oh. I, I totally can understand that because I, I wrote a blog post about it, but, but I was learning to, how to surf. And it was like, when you when you learn something like surfing, you know, games appear so trivial next to it, right? Because because you have to invest so much time in it and you get you know, hurt all the time and it's so difficult. It doesn't give you really good, good feedback and stuff like that. And with games, you just sit down, press a couple of buttons, and then if you fail, then you know you can just reload, no no problem, stuff like that. It's it's much more... The real life is much less forgiving than games. Hello, and welcome to Monster Hunter University Lesson 5. In this lesson, Gail, also known as Billy Bob Joe on YouTube, will be demonstrating how to hammer an Elatron effectively. This provides an efficient alternative to using sleep bombing an Elatron, which can be used by only one person, assuming that the rest of the team knows how to cooperate. You will have just enough time in the beginning of the quest to take a Might Pill and see which will give you a decent boost for about three minutes. Begin charging your hammer as soon as you're done eating the seed. If you stay close to a Latreon at the start, he will almost always turn and put his head down again. You can land the first KO with two hits of a hammer with purple sharpness. Now that you have a Latreon KO'd, you can move on to triple bound timing. Begin the hammer swing as a Latreon's head is the furthest possible away from you. If timed correctly, your hit will make contact just as his head is moving backwards. The second hit should do the same. Tilt your analog slightly to the left of the golf swing. Recharge your hammer and repeat. Lastly, you can charge your hammer for a quick uppercut on the KO recovery head flick. Elytron's head speed can vary depending on if he is enraged, exhausted, or in his normal status. You will have to adjust your timings slightly depending on which one he is in. Uppercuts will be a major staple of applying quick damage without engaging in too much risk. It's quick, effective, and nearly impossible to miss. Begin charging at the base of Elatrion's tail. 
released the charge as his head bobs to begin the turn. The uppercut has a very large hitbox, meaning you could be quite early or late and still have a fair chance of hitting him without any danger. In some situations, the Latreon will not run past you during the charge, but rather stop short. This is a great opportunity to land a super pound on his head. Begin your charge before he has actually started the attack. As Elytreon is rushing at you, begin to walk to his left side. If done properly, he will swing his head right where you were standing. Turn of Hounds are by far the most efficient hammer hit to use, but they are also the most difficult. This attack requires perfect timing and perfect positioning. If you want to do this, prepare for lots of frustration. Elytreon has a near microscopic hitbox in his turns that allow you to hit the base of his chin with a super pound. Stand a little bit behind the base of the tail, just as it is finishing wiggling from the charge, release. If you're having trouble with turnip pounds, give this one a try. Golf swings inflict the same amount of KO as a super pound, plus 14% more raw damage. You'll only want to do this when Elatrion is unenraged, or else you will have a difficult time getting out of the way. Begin the spin as Elatrion's tail is moving towards the center of his body. The actual swing is slightly delayed, so you'll want to start the swing a split second before Elatrion begins to turn. As stated earlier, avoid golf swinging in rage mode. It's very easy to miss and even easier to get hit. The main question of all this would be, is hammering effective? The answer, resoundingly, is yes. The footage you have seen was taken from three separate solo runs. The first horns were broken in 5 minutes and 30 seconds, the second were broke in 7 minutes and 30 seconds, and the last pair was broken in 5 minutes and 10 seconds. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson, and hope that it makes you want to try a later and hammering for yourself. If you liked what you saw, check out Gail's YouTube channel for speedruns, solos, and subscriber hunts. Remember, it is youtube.com slash billybobjoe. Thank you again, Gail. We're starting. You know what Kraftwerk means? No. Uh -uh. It means uh, electric power plant. Huh. Now you uh, know. This was so G Christian's German's lessons. <laughs> <laughs> People would probably really like that. Look, our audience is 11 to 12 year old boys and a whole bunch of extremely muscular and awesome German people. I guess. Wow. Like, like me. What about the New Zealanders? Oh, 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 okay, they are, they, are, they are a little bit more muscular than, than we are. Oh, wow. Oh, God. Maze is so strong. Man. He, he's going to send me this other video of him lifting even more weight. And I'm like, dude, like, cool it. Like, I'm emasculated enough already. Yeah, man. Our girlfriends are getting, um, getting kind of interested already. <laughs> yeah, you know, I go on a kayak. I see all these, like, plane tickets to, to New Zealand being looked up. But, I'm like, look. Wait here. There's... I'm a married man. There, there's different levels of masculinity here. I mean, come on. Th this whole thing comes from uh, somebody who lives down in that area. Okay. The, the hegemonic masculinity where you'll never actually be the most manly person in the room because it's impossible to be the idea of manhood. Mm -hmm. No, nope, not true. Christian is, is very manly. I am. Well, we're all, like, different parts of it, you know? No, nope. Christian is the most. Do you see that chin strap? That's true. You chin can't grow a chin strap like that. I can. I definitely can. Oh man, this chin strap has been with me for a long time. <laughs> did you pick it up on some trip? Did you have to adopt it? I inherited it. <laughs> this was my father's chin strap, and now it is mine. It is a. It is an ordinary chin strap from a more, uh, you know, civilized time. 
it has been passed down through generations. I think your father would 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 want to have you this. Can I borrow it? Mm, uh, Dude, I'm going on a hot date. Like, if I don't have a sweet chin strap, there's no way anyone's gonna want to go out with me. Maybe, maybe it's, it's actually a good idea to maybe start something like a chin strap rental. I think this should really be true supporters of the Monster Hunter podcast. Uh, grow it out. Grow that chin strap out. Yeah, chin strap out. Awesome. And, and post pictures. We should make that. Like, once we've completely lost all validity in the community, like, we should start giving out prizes for doing incredibly bizarre and meaningless things. Why like, are we doing bizarre and meaningless things now? Yeah. You know, that's a great point. <laughs> Why wait? <laughs> Why wait? <laughs> Why wait until we have nothing to lose? Yeah. Like, why not just completely invalidate ourselves at this exact moment? Nick has always uh, the best ideas. Thanks, Nick. Uh, yeah. Remember when we made people do, like, actual real-life kickboxing in order to get a guest spot? Oh, man, that was awesome. Ramon, we remember you, man. You're awesome. I mean, that was some really good kickboxing. Ramon had some, some good moves. Yeah, definitely. Ah, oh, look how he f caught this Oregon. Have you seen this? I did this. Oh man! All right. Um, so, what what else about uh, uh, Try G? Uh, uh, at least one new monster, probably more yeah. than that. What about this monster? He looks a little like from the nineties. Yeah, he looks kind of like a cartoon character, a little bit. What, what, I think what, he looks cool. What are these these lime bits on on his body? His punching bits. Yeah, he's gonna hurt you with those things. I mean, that's gonna make a really cool-looking hammer. Oh, wow, yeah, I guess so. Definitely. Like, if it starts glowing brighter and brighter as it's charging up. Yeah, maybe it glows in the dark. Oh, well, definitely it's gonna glow in the, glow in the dark. The, the, the gin glows in the dark. Oh, maybe it's gonna grow in the dark. Uh... <laughs> it's not a Christian monster, is it? Maybe it'll grow a chin strap in the dark. It's at least Catholic. <laughs> If you dark, grow a dark chin strap in the dark, how would you notice? Uh, you'd have to have someone else looking at you, or, or maybe maybe touching it. Yeah, yeah. There's also Azure Los and Pink Rathian coming back. Pink Rathian. I'm excited. Oh, that's yeah. good. That's good. Have you fought those monsters before, Christian? Have you gotten to them yet? No. Uh, oh man, he's basically fought them. Really different. I, I don't think they're different in really any way. I think the pink Raytheon might have a slightly different pattern for fireballs, but other than that, I think that's it. Okay. Sounds fine. So, do, wait a minute. Do we have? Can you make a, like a pink Raytheon gear? Yeah. Then you're pink? Yeah. That's pretty cool. I think I'm going to use that. You uh -oh. should. That could be your thing. Yeah. Uh -oh. I'm going to be like the pink chin, chin strap. <laughs> they should just go full blown and make a pink recoloring of every monster in the game. Yeah, the <laughs> it's, it's to, to cater to a new audience. Yeah. I'd fight Pink Barra. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he throws off uh, Hello Kitty uh, bundles. He rolls in a big pile of toys. He's coming for you. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> what kind? of <laughs> oh, he's mad at me. Oh, he he loves you. It's, it's love. Oh. <laughs> Look, he's all red, with with love, with uh. with admiration. There's also a new partner. New podcast. Ooh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, Not Chacha. Okay. Oh, he will. He will be a new member of the podcast. Well, what was the name, Nick? It sounded like you actually had it. Uh, I think it was like Canyon or something. Gigi? Uh, Kanya? Kanya? Kanya West. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> I need a model uh, conference table. It's going to hold a conference. But I'm not going to get it till I get the table. Oh, we broke his chin. Good job, guys. I've been trying to for a million years now. <laughs> broke it. You are a little bit over-exaggerating there. Yeah. Am I? Do you know uh, this what, for sure? I, 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 Oops, do you know I, how much million years is? Uh, less than two million. Uh, I guess. Time for a <laughs> Can't fight. argue with that logic. <laughs> Teamwork. Poop fight. Uh -oh. Are you throwing poop at the poop Oregon? No. 
You should. It's not my poop. Show him what's up. Show him what's for. Oh no! Oh god! <laughs> poop fight. What? When did he show up? He's been here for a while, ever since. You know how noxella has been saying poop fight for like the past 20 minutes? Uh, yeah, I, I actually had not gotten him into my frame at all. Uh-oh, no- uh-oh, this is not good, this is not good. I'm, uh, I'm gonna disappear. Like the lightning. <laughs> like the red, fl- uh, no, like the flash. You see the... Oh, no! Oh! Well, that's what? not a real... That's just a disconnect stuff. Those don't count. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. He disconnected? Oh, yeah. uh, so if you were to create another Uragon that shot out something other than poop or rocks, what would it shoot out and why? Uh, vanilla pudding. <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> it's it's the opposite of of the of the poop, you know. It, is that in like, it, so it, in Pokemon language? Oh God! What? <laughs> what? Warning! Warning! What? <laughs> what us about this? What the? Well, th- there is a warning right now. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? What's? What's warning? What, what, who? Who's coming? Is it Devil Joe? That's <laughs> possible. Uh, uh, well, I think we're obligated to fight whoever it is. Yeah, because we're shepherding it. This is that game you already played a hundred times when you were ten years old in 3D? Oh God, I'm getting eaten. Oh God, Maxo, help me out. No! Wow. That was fast. Okay, um, I wanted to say something, but I forgot. What you now? can't do that. You have to oh, tell yeah. us. I know, I know, I know. I know. I remember now. So, uh, we've been talking about 3DS uh, hardware, so we forgot something very important because it was also announced that they will bring out uh, an enhancement for the 3DS so it gets like a second analog stick. What do we think about it? Uh, I hear it sounds, I hear it plays nicely. Oh, who, did, who said that? Uh, the person designing Monster Hunter for Capcom? Well, of course he would say of that. Of course he would say that. I believe them. I just wish that they had it there from the start. Yeah, yeah I mean, it really makes sense. I mean, the, the the system's been out for six months. Seriously? Yeah. Like, a little, it's a little it, forethought. It's, it's, it's kind of... Hmm. People are laughing about it, that it's so ridiculous. I, I think it's a... It's, it's, well, better late than never, I guess. Oh, uh, I can agree with that. Yeah, I, I mean... I think it's interesting. I mean... You know, it's going to add more depth to the system, which is what they've been looking for, because they realized designing 3D games was hard. And, you know, with a 3D system, you really need some extra depth. (laughs) (laughs) I need a system with three analogs for full, true 3D control. You mean in every direction? Yeah. But doesn't have like every pad have like two dimensions already, so it's like... don't forget hot drinks. Okay, we've got your X axis, oh, Y axis, and then you've got your Z axis. No, you're right. I guess you could probably figure some. This sounds like six dimensions. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I need. I need a it, six dimensional world. If every if every controller is just two dimensional, and you have three two dimensional controllers, isn't that six dimensions? What if they multiply? Then, I mean, if we're talking squares here, who even knows? I know, right? Uh, square dimension? Maybe we Square Enix. I'm so Ooh. scared right now. Square Enix and Capcom are making a Monster Hunter game? Yes, in they six are? dimensions. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Monster Hunter 6G. Rumor confirmed. <laughs> Capcom and, and and Square they don't pair up enough. I don't think they've ever paired up at all. Oh wow. That would be cool. I bet they might they probably did once remotely in the eighties for some bizarre arcade game. Rescue Rangers. Yeah. Go go Rescue <laughs> Rangers. Oh no, wait a minute. That's different. Oh hey. yeah, you mean you mean the, the chipmunk thing. <laughs> the chipmunk thing. They are chipmunks. Are, 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 aren't they chipmunks? Are they, what, what are they? What, well, what, what, what are they? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay, That's right. good. Yes. 
Chip and Dale. This is during uh, the eight, the 80s and 90s where Disney was like a furry. Okay, factory. okay, okay. I have I have a I have a very important question. Oh yeah, man, I had I had the hots for the for the for the f- Gidget? Yeah, totally, man. Bro, oh, and now a furry? Oh god. I, I I was I was young and confused. Um, you know, on Etsy you can buy tails that you can just wear. No. <laughs> no. Um I wanted to, um so but I want to say something important again. Oh man! See, that's the problem when we we're recording so, so, so late. I, I always forgot. You had a question. Uh, yeah. It's about uh, Capcom Square. <laughs> I hope. I... Oh no! <laughs> what did you guess? <laughs> Get out! Get out! <laughs> What's going on over there? Uh... I don't need your bombs. Get out! You will have to show the footage from from my camera. <laughs> <laughs> is the the monster's not even over there <laughs> i'm the monster <laughs> it's right here oh it's haunted him is that ice Baroth? oh it is so so with with a with a with a I thing, on facebook oh i'm sorry with a thingy ling ling on a on a 3ds um there is a good chance uh, do you guys think that it's a good there's a good chance that there will be an upgrade of the hardware of the 3ds I mean, absolutely. I mean, it would be insane to think otherwise. I mean, this isn't some fly-by-night paddle controller or, like, guitar controller that you plugged into the DS Lite slot. I mean, this is something that can really genuinely be used by just about everything. Well, I heard that it's, uh, like, a real Nintendo product. It's not, like, something that Capcom brings out. Right, right, right. At first, people were just thinking it was just a peripheral that Capcom was going to use. But uh, from the same of things, it's something that's, that's the real deal. Yeah. Nintendo's always taking cues from Apple. You got to get them on your peripherals, you know. But but you know, it's still, it still it feels very much like a crutch, and it's kind of very embarrassing, I think, for Nintendo to. Well, at least they're doing something about it, right? Unlike uh, Sony, who with their PSP, who basically did nothing there, right? The PSP one thousand. Yeah, I mean, well, no. Well, they did a lot of upgrades, but they never had included like a second analog now. Right, right, and that's that's really what it could have used. Yeah. Uh, agreed. Which is why the the Vita has it, and it's why, actually probably why people think the Vita is going to be so good. It's like, hey, finally, second analog. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. about time. It's interesting we're going into like a Nintendo dark time. It seems. It really is. I mean, I, I, I mean, look, this is exactly what people said when the DS and PSP came out. These are the same exact conversations, and, and at the end of the day, it's going to be uh, what software is out there. You know, because it doesn't matter how great your control scheme is, unless you have like really great third-party support. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I guess a year from now, I mean, we'll have a much better idea of what's really getting the support that needs it. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. So, which of the games are you more interested in, uh, the uh, Trigy or the portable third on the Vita? Well, I'm excited to have another Cha Cha like companion. Definitely. I, the, I think the sad thing is, is that we can't record any of those. Oh yeah. Uh, so well, I don't know how we're gonna do it. Uh, cam- camcorder cast is is likely mm. impossible. Camcast. Camcast. What if we record everything with a 3ds so it's in 3D? <laughs> I don't think it records 3D video. I'm not even it sure. It does. It 3D. Does it record video or just pictures? Supposedly they're releasing a thingy for it soon so it can record 3D video? How about maybe they release a thingy for it so it we can kind of attach it to something so we can record it on a PVR? I'm surprised maybe their power adapter is a USB port hidden in, in disguise like a transformer. Oh, that would be awesome. L- l- you mean like Shockwave where it, he opens like his chest and there are like t- thousands of robots inside? <laughs> See, that would be awesome, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So I've been playing uh, Monster Hunter Dynamic Hunting lately. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me all about it. It's amazing. I actually really like it. Uh, it's just fun to, you know, sit there with your little finger. Uh, for those of you who don't know, it's the, the, the iPhone version of Monster Hunter, basically. Yeah. It's actually, I enjoy it. I think that maybe it has a little bit too much grind in it sometimes. But, Super like... Grind. Yeah, because right now I'm sort of stuck in rank four, wondering how I'm ever going to do enough damage to kill the things that I'm killing. Oh, well, what do you, why do you need to grind? 
Uh, you get parts at the end of every battle. It's just like normal Monster Hunter. Yeah. Uh, how well you do kind of defines how many drops you get. Uh-huh. So you get bags of carves, you know, instead of. Uh, it's true. Carving. You don't them actually. Off. Have, you know, that's actually kind of like a, a small bonus. I never thought about that. You actually don't have to rip things off of things. Yeah. All the time, they just they show up magically. Yep. Yeah, I knocked it out. I know. What if you gonna rip? You gonna rip that head off there, Nick? I'm trying to. Uh, did you use the hammer, Nick? There, there might be some I people did. that played it or saw it and haven't really seen any oh. footage of it. In fact, uh, I, I wish you know. I was looking up how to record off of my iPad, um, and that's going to be a pretty difficult thing to do. So I don't think I'll ever do it. But <laughs> uh, I found the hammer a lot easier than any of the other weapons. But then I guess I've pretty much always used a hammer in a monster hunting game, so. Can you get knockouts with it, like like normal or no? Yeah, or no. You, you that every uh, triple pound that you do knocks the monster down. It, seriously? Seriously, if you can get off a triple pound, they fall on the ground. So you can interrupt them in almost every way. The problem is, is with that is uh, they don't go through their uh, routine, so you can't get a mission bonus. Yeah. Oh hey! hey, hey. Another devil Joe. Another <laughs> devil joke. Are you serious? Is this is this really happening? Maybe. Yes. You have to redeem yourself, Christian. Oh no. Yeah, I'm not doing adrenaline on this you, one. You know what? <laughs> Forget that, fans. You guys, I don't have any steaks with me. Are you kidding me? I got some steaks right here. What? You didn't bring yeah. hot drinks either. I did. Oh, you did. Okay. Okay. Things are here changing, man. I don't remember ever fighting a Devil Joe with the hunting horn, but I guess I'm gonna. But well, we did uh, one. You did. Yeah. With the hunting horn. Oh, cast. that's right. <laughs> oh, oh. I don't remember these things. I'm sorry. Please forgive my. It's unforgivable. It's unforgivable. Unforgivable. Lord. Slam. Japan. Oops. If you guys ever watched the movie Big Man Japan. Uh, it's in my Netflix queue. You should watch that movie. Uh, Last time a- you recommended that I watched Hobo with a Shotgun and my wife was traumatized. But <laughs> I've never seen that movie. I don't ever remember recommending it. <laughs> Nick, why do you think I've- I would want... You, you uh-huh. cannot deny the fact that by me saying it happened, it must have happened. <laughs> How dare you? What would possess me to make her watch that? I don't thing. know. I would never make Kristen watch that movie. I don't even want to watch that movie. You're making me say, seem out to be like such a bad guy right now. It was so violent. I have never seen a more violent movie before in my life. And I watched like that Living Dead movie by the British people, Still Dead, whatever it is. I don't know. Dead Alive? Dead Alive. It was like a big lawnmower turned into a weapon. And oh, yeah. That's dead his alive. mother wanted to, to make love to him and he that's, killed her. That's Peter Jackson. Yeah. That was him. Wow, he's a good. He's a good director. I mean, look, the movie was good, but it was disturbing too. Uh, wait a minute. Have you seen um, um, Irreversible? No. I don't think so. That's that's a movie that's gonna kill you. It's a, I don't, it's a movie I, with I with Monica Bellucci, and it's it's really really horrible. I don't want it, a movie to kill me. It's it's very violent, but not in a funny way. In a way that <laughs> kind of destroys you, and you can cannot unsee. It's I guess it's not really for. For uh, family consumption? No, not at all. <laughs> not even in the least. It's I guess it's 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 a mixture of um, of Requiem for a Dream and Hobo with a Shotgun. Oh, oh my, my gosh! gosh. <laughs> I don't think I would ever watch that movie. Ever. <laughs> hey, what's a perfectly good way to ruin a weekend? I don't know. Let's watch this. What was it, undeliverable movie? Unforgivable? Un- Unbreakable. Unbreakable? No, wait a minute. That's my Bruce Willis. <laughs> oh, which Bruce Willis? We're talking about no, irreversible. Irreversible. That's irreversible. Right. <laughs> Unbreakable is also a horrible movie, but for a very different reason. I don't think it was that bad. Oh come there on! Are wor- there are worse Ed Night Shyamalan and Mom. Uh, definitely. Movies. Well, that's that's totally true. I really liked Unbreakable. Really? Yeah, I liked it a lot. It was one of my favorite of his movies, actually. But that's what I'm saying. Out of all of his movies, it's pretty good. What? What? But wasn't it like the reveal wasn't like like oh no it was a super movie I mean like well 
it, it's different than his other movies because the real reveal wasn't for the audience; it was for the character. Okay, yeah. yeah. I mean, that was actually like that was that's actually kind of an okay movie technique. That's like, how does the character react? That's fine. You can do that. Oh well, I guess that that's a good. Uh, well, wait a minute. In, in science, it's also a reveal for a character. It was just a very yeah, that but was a silly terrible. review. That was just awful. Yeah. <laughs> it just sucked. Really bad. I am very angry right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mad. Uh, but I really like the, the the birthday party scene in science. Especially, I just like the end where he swung or this guy and uh, he was forgiven for killing Mel Gibson's wife um, and then they forgave Mel Gibson for hating Jewish people and um, uh, and for, hit, for hitting his wife and stuff like that for hitting his wife and then M. Night was there and he was you know the he doctor he was or something like that he's like I'm gonna go to a lake great go- M. Night great cameo Remember in my last movie where I was carrying drugs? Are we really talking about... <laughs> is this not even the Monster Hunter podcast anymore? What the hell is this? What happened to us? We're fighting a joke. We, we, we went for two hours trying to get this to work correctly. Yeah, we, we deserve some off time. I shut off our brains and just, you know, say whatever. Just it's it's. I think they call it stream of consciousness. Yeah, I'm very stream conscious right now. Yeah. So, the the games I'm playing for my thesis are kind of entertaining. I'm going from, like, 1996 to 2006, playing, like, the best-selling games of every five years. So, like, 96, 2001, 2006. Uh-huh. Uh, it's kind of fun. What you get to see, like, how games changed over time. It's okay. Weird. Like, the games in the 90s that I'm playing right now, there's a huge, like, uh, underground crime scene, or just, like, crime in general, mm-hmm. uh, as well as pollution. And then once I get into 2001, it's going to become more about, like... Uh, military. Military, religion. By 2006, the military basically owns it all. Hmm. It's kind of weird. I don't even know what he's eating right now. Well, nobody. Maybe he doesn't know either. So, um, the game I'm playing right now is Catherine. Uh, I started playing that game. I got stuck on the baby level. First baby. Yeah, that, that's that's what, one of the things that disappointed me. There are actually two baby levels, and I was like, "Really, are you running off uh, eight ideas for boss?" Was, that, was it the, the first baby not enough? Yeah, it's like okay, I know creepy baby. Ha ha, I'm scared. And anyway, it's, but it's yeah. the first puzzle where you're like, you have to start thinking like really spatially. You don't have a, a chance to think a different. Or you don't. You can. You can't make it just pulling out and pushing blocks. Yeah, like you have to actually think ahead. Yeah, are, are you playing it on, on normal or easy? Uh, normal. You should play it on easy. It's, it's easier. How dare you? Of course, it's easier. Play it on normal. Don't no, e- easy is normal in, in this game, and normal is the hard, and uh, hard is the. Uh, uh, are you serious? <laughs> oh, I haven't. I haven't. Actually, I, I would do fine on hard, except for the the uh, clock tower. Which has another name I would like to call it, except this is a PG-13 podcast. Oh, I see. It's like the clock tower in Castlevania. Huh? Uh, yeah, pretty much. There, there may as well be Medusa heads flying around, knocking, knocking Vincent off. Yeah, yeah. As far as I'm concerned. Well, the thing is, I was a little bit disappointed. I really like the story about it. And then, I, you know, there, there's like thousands of endings. Well, I guess there are maybe eight or something. And then I got an ending where none of the... None of the girls appears in the ending, in my ending, and it was like a pretty much a, of a downer, you know, because uh, everything is about the girls and you know, oh, Catherine or K- with a C or Catherine with a K, and ah, oh, and and then at the end there is like not a resolution there. That's sad. That's super sad. Uh, my favorite thing that that game does is that it uses actual like real world statistics because you know it tells you how what you scored versus what everybody else answered. Yeah, but on the other hand, in those statistics, you always end up with fifty fifty fifty, and for all questions. Well, yeah, so, on, a, on a on a yeah, by various statistics, you're always going to end up in fifty fifty eventually. Oh, okay. But. I, I think it was it's interesting, like, because I was kind of playing a little after the game came out, so, mm-hmm. like, as I was playing, the scores slowly shifted, because it seemed like everybody was playing through an evil way. Mm-hmm. And then uh, it in the, the very first week, Nick, I mean, when I yeah. played it, the very, 
I, I was seeing a lot of more orderly way. Really? I mean, there, there, well, there were some there were some questions that are translated in a weird way. Like, have you ever been so excited that you've gotten a nosebleed before? I mean, that's a very really? Japanese. Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah. I, 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 I can't remember answering this question. That's weird. Uh, there's a lot of different questions, and uh, mm-hmm. each time you go through a level, asks a random one. Okay. I think it's probably random category, like random group. But uh, okay, yeah, I remember I having uh, having one question that also kind of sounded very Japanese. Like something, uh, if, if you were if you were naked in public or something, and then I have nothing to hide or something, that's kind of weird. Uh, is that true? Um, yes, of course. That's why I, on a regular basis, I'm going naked, jogging. You know, my, that. Ugh. My ass is flapping in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys ever so, s- ever so so images of people parachuting naked? They do that. <laughs> so they do that, and it's 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 the most hilarious thing because the human body is not designed for this kind of speed. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. <laughs> and both female and male parts are doing some very very funny stuff when parachuting naked. You should YouTube it right now. Uh, they have it? <laughs> they must On YouTube? I bet you there's a video for any act <laughs> a human could do. Wise teachings according to K.O. Han. After a harrowing experience of Kleen runs to quest after monster quest, be it Janoka, Rathian, Agnactor, or any other beast, the one quest I awaited finally appeared. Slay Miyamatsu. I set forth with my trusty feline comrades and climbed the mountain summit, enduring harsh rains and winds on the way to the top. When I finally got to the peak, there floated the terror. During the fight, I managed to break its frills, scar its face, and sever its tail. But this alone was not enough, and I fear this would be my last stand. Amatsu floated up to the heavens, and I watched as it prepared to deal the finishing, watery blow. As it launched its pulsing beam of water, a figure appeared. It took one big golf swing and redirected the watery blast to its original center. The Amatsu plummeted to the ground, dead. Are we ready? Yes. We're ready. ready Let's do this thing! What is that noise? No, <laughs> this is, this, that is, this noise. is my this is my angry and, and manly voice. This is where you should cue the song, Mr. Wendell. <laughs> What's Mr. Wendell? Did you guys know Why don't you that? Sing it. Oh. In in Trigy, they're gonna remake some of the armor designs. Oh. Really? Uh, I know the Cedius. Um, I think maybe the Gobble. And the uh, Legia Chris. I'll have some redesigns. So, what? But the leggy armor is awesome. You look like the crazy pro wrestler. Yeah. What? It looks it looks even cooler. You look like really? an Evangelion mech. Mm-hmm. So do any of us have a copy of this Famitsu? No. No. How do you expect uh, us to get a copy of the Famitsu? <laughs> uh usually you can import it. it. It came out on Wednesday. Well, it should already be at your house. We are in the future, you forget, Shepard. Oh, this is true. This is super uh, old news by the time we're, we're, our listeners are listening to this. It's like, pfft, for Mitsu, I'm, I'm, I'm using it as toilet paper right now. <laughs> that thing's old. Nobody cares about that anymore. Jeez. Oh, no, not the pellets! <laughs> not the pellets! I thought you wanted to use pellets, yeah. Yeah, they, they're working actually really well. Super effective. Oh, my God! And it works really well when there's, like, lag, too, because it's, like, you don't have to aim at anything. Where's the monster? 
I want to come and see this pellet game. Oh, it's great. Everybody's was, talking was... about this. Oh, yes. Uh, there's lots of explosions. I was punching the other one. Oh, wow. It, <laughs> some, something hit me. I was like, <laughs> oh, gosh. This is... <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the pellet game. <laughs> We're winning! <laughs> I'll save you. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Works so well. It's, it's even better when we've got Blade Masters mixed in, <laughs> and it just ruin their days. I think Chris can actually fine because he can demonize. Yeah, <laughs> Nick is just the. No way! I'm doing well. I'm fine. I have some hair protect and some wound cancel. You know, because that matters for this guy. Oh, uh, the hearing protect is not the worst thing that could happen. This is actually the best way to solo this quest, is just using this pellet shot. This is actually something that Maze discovered, Miserion. Oh. I'm actually excited. I made the, the pellet set for Monster Hunter Freedom Unite, and uh, so now I'm going to go start soloing stuff in that game. Yeah, pellet shots aren't as bad as people make them out to be. I mean, they don't get a range multiplier, but if you're using the pellet shot skill increase, that gives it a bigger boost overall. Yeah, they're not bad. They're, they're just misunderstood. <laughs> oh, Jesus wow, Christ. Wow, it died already? Wow. <laughs> that Welcome was the pellet game. super effective. Pellet game? Pellet game. No, 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 no not yet. The not yet. Game? I'm not yeah. ready. I'm almost up to play. I'm look almost this. up to 40. Look up to play. Where? He's right here. What? Oh, nice. Oh, there he is. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> What did I walk into? <laughs> uh, <laughs> is that you, Jimmy? Jimmy! He used the page to sniper. Uh, emote <laughs> done. Banned. 24 hour. Uh, oh, I've lost my words. My words are failing me today. I don't know. Uh, yesterday, I, I had stressed myself out so much that. Uh, uh, I had a migraine when I went to sleep, and then I had a migraine when I woke up. It's oh. awful. So you had the migraine yeah. the entire night? Yeah, the whole night, and uh, when I woke up in the morning at like 4 in the morning, uh, I couldn't get back to sleep because I had such a terrible um, migraine. Wow. Do you, do, you, do you often have migraines? No. It's just like yesterday I was trying to map out everything I had to do. It was just freaking me out. Man. Cause uh -oh. it's locked. Uh -oh. No, <laughs> guys, I need to. Heal you need more pellets. I need. I come, I'm just gonna leave this. this <laughs> Don't leave. We're happy to have you here. <laughs> I'm just pushing triangle, I'm... and sometimes it manages to swing. So it's <laughs> like I'm, I'm adding something to the fight. Yes, of course. That's... Oh yeah. It's so bad being the one pellet guy in front of the other pellet guy. <laughs> oh, like now being I in the wrong part it. of the human centipede. You do not want oh, to be. Oh God! <laughs> no. Christian challenge right now. There's shiny. Get it. Get it. Get get the shiny. <laughs> get the shiny. Get the shiny. It's shiny. It's right. You want to be in the cool guys club, right? Grab I'm gonna do it. Shiny. I'm gonna get it. I'm getting. Don't the get shiny. it. Don't let him get it. Don't shoot. Why are you shooting me? I'm gonna get the shiny. Yeah, shiny. Don't let them get it. Don't let them get it. Don't let them get it. <laughs> yes, yes, I oh. got it. Oh no, no. Oh, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> I can die. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm part of it too. Yes, yeah. I got it. Yes, yes. What do you think about that? You know, how, uh, guys, how, remember, remember Karsten. You know how, how this looks like, like this the the beginning scene of of RoboCop. <laughs> Just getting ripped to pieces by bullets. Yes. <laughs> Maybe I'm I'm getting maybe I'm turning into Robocat right now. Oh, by the way, a friend of mine is is playing um, Deus Ex. Yeah. 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 And he says that it's uh, it's it's a bit awkward. He's not. Uh, yeah, a lot of people I think play that game with nostalgia eyes. No. Yeah, maybe we'll actually let Christian get some cars. Or Christian go get your cars. Oh, and there are no Thunderbucks, so I'm not really interested. I'm just doing it out of, you know, I'm used to it. <laughs> How is it you're just targeting only me? You're such a mean person. We're playing the pellet game. <laughs> no, I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> Why can you load? You gotta run out soon. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Oh, 
So guys, oh, hey. if you if you could oh. re- replace your your eyes with sunglasses, would you do that? <laughs> I don't even wear sunglasses now. But what if somebody replaced your eyes with sunglasses? Yeah. Well, Just one day you woke up and you're like, wait, what? Why is everything tinted? I didn't ask for this. No! <laughs> no! Oh, yeah. The, speaking of nose, uh, what do you guys think about the Star Wars Blu-ray exchanges? Um, okay, that's, that's a good question. I wanted to ask this as well. I, no! I, I'm not aware of them. You are aware that... The, okay, so the idea is that they, the Blu-ray version will come out, right? Yeah. And they make like... Again, like thousands of changes, and they're getting getting more and more like detailed and, and anal. And so one of the, uh, but one one of them is really horrible, and it's, it's that when uh, Darth Vader throws the emperor, em, em, emperor in the in the you know in the well in the shaft. Yeah. Uh, he's he's now he's shouting no, or or more more exactly. No, <laughs> that's so bad. <laughs> and also, Ewoks blink now. Yes, and also um, there's there's also a new. Obi- but, but I think that's that's bogus. I, that doesn't sound right. I, I don't believe the, it. the Ewoks blink. No, the Ewoks don't have eyelids. Obi Obi Wan Kenobi when when he rescues Luke Skywalker for the first time. When oh he, yeah, he has they've this, changed that. I don't know how many times they changed the the sound he makes, and now I think it's even McGregor doing the sound now, and so it sounds like. You guys have formed some sort of like Hunter Tron. You're all standing <laughs> in the exact same spot. Christian, is your name red now? It should be yes, red now. It's red. Oh, yay! Yes. It's about time. I'm in the club now. So where are you guys? Oh, there we are. I, I gotta sit in front of them now. Well, after 10,000 years, we're free. Is it time to conquer Earth? Yeah. Uh, duh! Oh. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? I'm sorry. Uh, there we go. Alright. Take us home. Somebody, Christian. You want to be I'm, someone? I'm someone want to keep right company or no? Oh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go join you. Sure. Here um, you go. I get up. Okay. Hey, maybe I can get it. Huh. Ooh, that's close. Ooh, you brought you brought an animal. I didn't know we needed, we needed that needed sort of. Sort of... <laughs> I, I... Whoa! I just heard Whoa. it twice. Yeah, why was that? Is Nick, is Nick actually holding his, hanging his headphones on the microphone? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, he's creating like an infinity loop. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Is that really the voice he makes? Yes. Yes. <laughs> no. George Lucas made the 3DS. Oh my yes. Goodness. That's no. no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So how about we wrap it up, guys? Yeah, put it in a takeout container. Okay. Wow. So, so uh, I think this is the point where we could, should talk about where people can reach us. And of course, the only way to reach us is, well, the, the main way to reach us is socialdistance.com, where you also should watch this video because when you go to socialdistance.com, all of our videos have this wonderful Monster Hunter late night show thing ooh, going on. Ooh, let's, not, let's not spread that around too much. I mean, we might have some under 18 viewers. Yeah, keep it low. Uh, if, you're a, if you are underage, you sh- yeah. you, I haven't said anything. Uh, you haven't heard us. But if you are um, like um, uh, you know, somebody who has been who's experienced in his life and who has seen lots of horrible things like Hobo with a Shotgun or something like that. Oh, whoa. Yeah, if you have a chin strap, um, you can watch it. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good point. That's, and, that's a, if you ever wanted a chin strap. And and sharpie chin straps doesn't don't work. Don't don't. Nope. No, you have to. Nope. It has to be made out of human hair, and you own your human hair. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Christian, can I? But didn't you say I could borrow your chin strap, Christian? Mm, well, th- but if you borrow my chin strap, then it's not really a chin strap. It's just a borrowed chin strap. His his chin strap is made out of people anyway. <laughs> Little tiny people crawling all over his face. No, no, no. My chin strap is basically like the end of Men in Black. Oop. Where you realize that the entire world was in this tiny marble. And it's exactly like that. You know, the entire world is in my chin strap. It's like an infinite loop. 
it, somewhere in that infinite loop, there is a world where a 3DS was released with two analog nubs. Yes. and then this, The first time. So we have to on, join us on the next episode where we travel inside my chin strap. <laughs> <laughs> and seek out this wonderful world. <laughs> That's going to be the title of this episode, Inside Christian's Chin Strap. <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, so um, go to social listeners. Also, um, follow us on uh, Twitter, Mon's, Monhancast. No, wait a yep, minute. Yeah, Facebook.com. Yep. And also you can uh, visit us on Tumblr, uh, Monster Hunter Pod. Monster Hunter Cast at Wait a minute. No, no, no. Uh, Tumblr. Uh, oh, God. Oh, gosh. We are so bad at this. We have forgot everything. We forgot. Dude, I did it okay, so, so good that one day. Yeah, I know. So the email is monsterhuntercasts at googlemail.com. You can send us an email. You can also go <laughs> Do to... Do we read those emails? Yes. They're, yes. They're, they're all there. Uh, you can also go to monsterhunterpodcast.tumblr.com where you can visit our wonderful Tumblr blog where you post uh, new episodes. You can also go on iTunes from there. And uh, we have also a uh, form spring. Where is the form spring, guys? It is formspring.me slash social disnance. Yes. There's no O. No, no, no. It's, 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 that's that's the, the secret code. And also, We had to pay extra for the O. And also you yeah. can uh, go, of course, on Facebook um, to seek us out. We have all, almost 500 guys in, in a Facebook group. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Wasn't it just like a hundred the other day? I know. It's yep. a, but even more exciting is that we have ten thousand subscribers for uh, our YouTube channel. It's a lot of people. Yay! We are guys. Very- how does that happen? How is it? Are, are there even ten thousand people in? Now the, I know it's a world. worldwide game. Are there even ten thousand people in the United States that regularly play this game? What I, w- I want to know, are there even 10,000 people in the United States? No. Uh, no! <laughs> <laughs> They've all been thrown down wells. So, I, I don't know how about you guys, but I've been blown away by this. I mean, that we actually achieved our goal of 10,000 people. And, uh, well, the only thing that's left to is to, to thank everybody who's been doing this, helping us, um, spreading the word, and bringing people on this wonderful, wonderful journey into my chin strap um it's been a pleasure and and we're really <laughs> guys i'm saying it right now if we hit fifty thousand subscribers i will pay for a plane ticket to chin strap. for you to go to cologne germany around gamescom you got to pay for your own room and board but you can fly there and christian's gonna let you touch his chin strap uh, 30 seconds alone in the closet with christian and his chin strap uh, wow! I, I, volunteering I, you, this Christian. Is, you can't say anything about this. Uh, yeah, this is the, uh, here's a question about our landmark achievement. Okay. Oh. The person okay. asks, "Will you do a pants off dance off cast in celebration?" Wow. What's, what's a pants off dance off? Is, is it what I think it is? Didn't we have a pants off dance off? Podcast isn't is do a podcast with wait, no pants. Isn't 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 this what what Nick is basically doing all the time? Yeah, it's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I think it's already been done, guys. I swear we did a podcast where we we wore no pants. We, we did a entire podcast. time. We did a podcast right? where we did, we didn't wear any pants in game. We didn't do one where we didn't wear any pants in real life. Oh, and you know, and I didn't dance at all. Yeah. So we we maybe uh, this is something maybe we should check out on our next episode, which will come out of course next week. Um, is there anything else I, we forgot to mention? No. No. Wonderful. So until no. then, we wish you a good luck, good hunt, and remember, beware of the free roaming rumba cat. Gonna go up to your face, slap you, go away. And then just turn around and come back again. (laughs) Oh, you want more of this? You want more of this? You better hope I don't come back over there. (laughs) Oh man, I love to read my cats.